Hello everyone. I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. If you like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more updates. Relation. In previous class, we learned the definition of relation. However, I'll revise the definition of relation quickly here. Any subset of A cross B is called relation from A to B. Any subset of A cross B. Any subset of A cross B is called relation from A to B. This is what we learn in previous class. However, after the definition of relation, you will get few doubts. I want to clarify those doubts now. First one, what is relation on set A? You know what is relation from A to B. Now the question is, what is relation on set A? I'll try to explain this with an example. First, consider a set A. A equals to set 1 comma 2. What is A cross A? A cross A equal to set 1 comma 2 cross set 1 comma 2. Now, how we will calculate A cross A? You take first element in first set and pair with all the elements of second set. That is, you take an element 1 in set A and pair with all the elements of second set. That is ordered pair 1 comma 1 comma ordered pair 1 comma 2. Now you take second element in first set and pair with all the elements of second set. That is you take an element 2 in first set and pair with all the elements of second set. That is ordered pair 2 comma 1 comma ordered pair 2 comma 2. I take in a set A and we calculated A cross A. Now I'll consider a set R1. I'll write a set R1 as set which contains two elements ordered pair 1 comma 1 comma ordered pair 2 comma 2. You observe that is R1 is a subset of A cross A? Is R1 is a subset of A cross A? All the elements present in R1 are present in A cross A? Yes, it can be understood easily. Ordered pair 1 comma 1 is there in A cross A? Ordered pair 2 comma 2 is there in A cross A? So R1 is a subset of A cross A and we say it as R1 is a relation from A to A. If R1 is a subset of A cross A, then R1 is called relation from A to A. Simply we say it as R1 is a relation on A. R1 is a relation on A. So what is relation on set A? Any subset of A cross A. Any subset of A cross A is called relation on set A. What is relation on set B? Any subset of B cross B is called relation on set B. I hope you are understanding. What it mean? R1 is a relation on A. What it mean? It means that R1 is a relation from A to A. However, here I'll specify one more point. Number of relations on set A. How many relations we can form on set A? In previous class, we know that number of relations from A to B equals to 2 power n of A cross B. Here, number of relations on set A equals to 2 power n of A cross A. That equal to 2 power n of A cross A. You observe number of elements in A cross A. How many elements are there? 4 elements are there. So, number of relations on set A equal to 2 power 4. That is nothing but 16. So, for the set A, we can form 16 relations from A to A. So, what is relation on set A? Relation on set A is nothing but it is a relation from A to A. Second point, what is domain and range of a relation? Before going to learn the definition of domain and range of a relation, let me take a small example. Let A equals to set 1 comma 3 and B equals to set 3 comma 5 comma 6. Now I will calculate A cross B. How to write A cross B? You take first element in set A 
and pair with all the elements of set B. That is, you take an element 1 in set A and pair with all the elements of set B. That is, ordered pair 1, comma 3, comma, ordered pair 1, comma 5, comma, ordered pair 1, comma 6. Now, you take second element in set A and pair with all the elements of set B. That is, take 3 in set A and pair with all the elements of set B. That is, ordered pair 3, comma 3, comma, ordered pair 3, comma 5, comma, ordered pair 3, comma 6. Now, I will consider a set R. I am considering a set R which contains the elements ordered pair 1 comma 5, ordered pair 3 comma 5, ordered pair 1 comma 6. So I consider a set R which contains three elements. You observe that all the elements present in R are present in A cross B. You just observe that all the elements present in R are present in A cross B. For example, you take ordered pair 1 comma 5. Is it there in A cross B? You observe? Yes, it is there. You take ordered pair 3 comma 5. Is it is there in A cross B? Yes, it is there. You take an ordered pair 1 comma 6, which is there in A cross B? Yes, it is there. All the elements present in R are present in A cross B. So, R is a subset of A cross B. If R is a subset of A cross B, we say that this R is a relation from A to B. Now, we will try to learn the definition of domain and range of a relation. Domain of a relation. Domain of a relation is defined as set of all first elements in ordered pairs. Domain of a relation is defined as set of all first elements in ordered pairs. You observe the relation R. R is the relation from A to B. Na? You observe the ordered pairs. You observe all first elements in ordered pairs. You observe all first elements in ordered pairs. What is there? 1, 3, 1. So, if you write in a set form, roster form, what is the domain of the relation? Domain of the relation is equals to set 1, comma 3. You learn domain of a relation. What is domain of a relation? Set of all first elements in ordered pair is called domain of the relation. Next definition, range of a relation. What is range of a relation? Range of a relation is defined as set of all second elements in ordered pairs. Range of a relation is defined as set of all second elements in ordered pairs. You observe the example. You observe the relation R from A to B. Observe the second elements. What are the second elements? 5, 5, 6. If you write in roster form, set form, how, you, how it will be? So, range of relation is set 5, comma 6. Now, let me give the definition of codomain of a relation also. If R is a relation from A to B, if R is a relation from A to B, then the set B is called codomain of the relation then the set B is called codomain of the relation. In the above example, you observe what is set B. Set B is 3, 5, 6. This is called codomain of the relation. I hope you understand this class. If you like this video, please press like button below. Share this video with your friends. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.